subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update. Hello friends. So in this video we discuss how to create a virtual machine in ESXi 7.0. So in the previous version of ESXi we have a default data store where you can store your ISO, uh, your ISO files and your virtual machines. But in the 7.0 there is no default data store because your remaining part, approx 9 GB of partition is utilized by your ESXi OS and the remaining partition will be reserved for the vSAN clusters. So in the ESXi 7.0 we need to attach another hard drive to create a data store ok so in my lab I am going to show you how can you configure this one so my ASXI host is running there so I first of all turn off your ASXI host and add a another hard drive so I am going to add it to my setting on my ASXI 1 and I am going to put a another hard drive of 100 GB it's a SCSI type create a new and size will be 100 GB next next finish ok then start your ASXI host so it's booting so here our ASXI host is start successfully started I am going to access this ASXI host on my browser using the VMware host client. So type your IP. Type your username and password here. Now we go to the storage and in the storage go to the device. So here you be able to find your device that you have attached recently. So on my host we have two devices. One is the one this one. Both are on the hundred GB. So how can we identify which one is the newest one? So you can find this. Is target zero, target one. So this is our newest drive. Okay. So we are going to create a data store on this VMH BA. 0 C0 zero, T1 L0 okay so select this drive and right click here you can edit the partitions clear the partitions or rescan and here you create a new data store so I'm going to select a new data store without selecting any hard any disk new data store type your data store so I'm just typing data sorry data store 1 next then select your device so it's also show the free device here so it's showing a single device that you have recently added on our ASXI host choose this one next then there is some options how much space you want to utilize on this drive so I want to utilize all the space okay and which version of your VMFS you want to use so I, I want to use the VMFS 6 next and finish and accept yes so look at your recent tasks the data store has been created now I am going to storage so look there in the storage it's showing one you have a one data store we cannot store our virtual machines on the default in primary hard drive because the partition type on your primary hard drive is VMFSL. This pattern style is used for the vision, so it's reserved for the vision type. Okay, so you can you can't utilize this partition type. So like that, you can create a data store to store your virtual machine files. Now I am going to upload my ISO image on this data store. So select your data store, go to data store browser and up, I'm going to create a folder here like I show 
and I'm going to install my ISO files inside. So select and click on upload and choose your ISO image here. Okay. So I want to upload Windows 7. So it's uploading. So do not <coughs> interrupt this process and wait to complete this process. Okay. So it will take few few minutes according to your ISO image size. So ISO image has been successfully uploaded. Now I'm going to create a virtual machine. So close that and go to your virtual machine tab. So we do not have any virtual machine here. So click on create virtual machine. Select create a new virtual machine. Next. Type your virtual machine name. So it's win 7 hyphen g one Provide a unique name for your every virtual machine. Select your compatibility. Choose your guest operating system family. So this operating system belongs to the Windows. And select your OS version. So our version will be Windows 7 64 bit. Okay. Next. Then select your data store here. So look there, that data store we have created, you can uh, find here. So we store that machine on this data store. Next. Then you can specify your number of CPUs, your memory size, your disk. I want to create this virtual machine with thin provisioning. So expand this and you can choose thin provisioning. So I will create a 32 GB of disk, but it utilize the last space according to the data inside that disk. And then scroll down and change the CD drive. So I'm going to select here data store ISO and choose that ISO we have uploaded here. So select your Windows 7 ISO here. Select and verify this it's checked next so here is your all configuration finish so our virtual machine is create has been created now we are going to install the operating system so select power on and select again click on the console and i'm going to choose in new tab open the console in, in new window sorry so look it's loading your windows and you can follow the process to installation of windows 7 operating system okay i will show you how to install the windows 7 if you are new about the installation of windows 7 Now here you need to choose your language, your time and currency format and your keyboard. So I am selecting this English and US. Next, click on that install button. So setup is starting. Now accept this license. So check this and click on next. And choose the custom installation. And choose your disk that you have attached of 32 GB of hard drive on that virtual machine next. So installation process has been begun so it will take few minutes to complete this installation. So in installation is done now we set up our Windows 7 so type your username here's your computer name next type your password type any hint next I'm going to skip this production key remind me later about the windows update choose your time zone and so I'm selecting my work network Okay. 
now installation of windows 7 has been completed now we copy some data on this machine that we use in our later labs okay so i'm going to my host server and attaching a cd here so right click on virtual machine go to setting and scroll down on the cd i'm going to change the iso image here so at this location i want to attach another iso image so first of all i need to upload that iso image in our data store so cancel this one go to your data store browse upload and i have a data store uh, a image that I, I want to upload is class tool open so it will upload it here so I, I want to move this in our ISO photo okay so you can move, right click move and ISO okay <coughs> and close now right click on your virtual machine add it setting expand your CD and here change your disk ISO and class tool so you can find the link of this ISO image in the description so you can download this ISO by following that link save go to your virtual machine console and ACD is detected there open this one and there is your lab manual and a file CPU which I am just going to copy those files on my desktop okay so like that you can create a virtual machine on ASXI 6.7 okay in the next video we will discuss what is the VMware tool what is the benefit of VMware tool and how can you install a VMware tool on your virtual machine okay so thank you so much for watching this video like this video and subscribe my channel for more updates